Well, it was a real shame that we never got to work together. Um, because that would have been fun. Never say no. Never say no. Never say no. Um, you know, it was really it was interesting because David, you know, I joined um, the show when David was sort of coming to the end of his uh, trajectory as the Doctor. Um, and I think almost, I think secretly there'd already been some sort of acknowledgement um, that that had not been made public. Um, and he and Catherine were super, super tight. Um, so I sort of came into the show uh, not quite knowing anything about it or, or uh, and thinking I was just going to be doing those two episodes. David was the consummate actor, hard worker. He, I mean, he still is. He's a workhorse. He's perfect. He was line perfect. Um, and uh, whenever we um, sort of were waiting to do a retake or change lights or whatever, lighting, we would always play games. We'd play cards or we'd kind of play guessing games between us. So that was sort of his way he worked. Matt. <laughs> I call the Matt Smith years the rock and roll years. Um, you know, they were all really quite naughty and I felt like I was the mother having to constantly kind of keep these puppies from sort of running around and I mean they just they they lived life like the rolling stones. <laughs> um, so then and then Peter was completely different. Um, because again, you know, he was very, very professional. Um, is that maybe is that like Matt Smith or something? Uh, 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 but you know, super, super professional, very serious. Uh, and um, yes, it was a different. He was there in a funny sort of way, more fatherly um, uh, towards me, and certainly towards Jenna, which was kind of lovely, really. So. They were all, it was all great, but they were all very different personalities to work with, for sure.